Vist visa or Dubai Vist visa? Which one is better? Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. And if you're new to this channel, please support this channel. Consider subscribing to this channel. It's the only way you'll be updated when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for watching videos and supporting this channel. Qatar Visa versus Dubai Visa. Which one is the best? Hi guys, it's quite, kind of very tricky when it comes to visit visas. But for today's video, I'll only talk from my own experience or I'll talk by the, what I know about the two visas, the two tourist visas in the two countries. Remember both countries lie in the Gulf, in the Gulf, they're both Gulf countries and they both have opportunities for whoever learns that opportunity will share will share it to the maximum but remember when we are talking about these visas the two countries differ first of all let us try to talk about dubai itself yes dubai has what you call visit visas you can easily access a visit visa for dubai in case you have someone to apply it for you remember for you to access, for you to get a visa visa from Dubai, someone applying it for you has to be in Dubai. That will be someone sponsoring you, someone uh, applying for the visa. He has to be living in Dubai for you to get that visa in the shortest period that you want. But remember, Dubai also has opportunities like any other Gulf country. They do have the opportunities. Because if you have that visa, if you get that visa yourself, the visa visa, you go with it. At least you can get the startup jobs that we talk about. The startup jobs in, in Dubai, like for example, cleaning jobs. Yes, uh, we may talk not so much about security in Dubai because still security in Dubai, you need to, to go to do what we call uh, PCB, PCDB training. You need to, to have a serial license certificate as a security guard. It is mandatory. So we may look at other minor jobs, like for example, look at the cleaning companies, are very many. At, at least you can get a startup job, which can give you like around 800 dirhams. That's what I can see. The opportunities are there, and you can grasp up the opportunity when you go there. But remember, when we talk about the opportunities, we talk about the opportunities for the person who is prepared to look for that opportunity, and the person who is actually ready to take up that opportunity. How do you prepare yourself to take up that opportunity? Is you starting to prepare yourself and the mind itself to look for that opportunity. Having a passport and knowing what you want and how resilient are you going to get what you want and how resilient are you going to persevere to see that you get what you want or you get that particular job uh, in all options. For example, when you go for a visa visa, remember you have to move, you have to move area by area company office by company office until when you get that finally if you are so lucky in any way like any other person you definitely you definitely have what you call you'll have the job for yourself yes you'll have your job but remember you can get a, a small startup job uh, which will not require you to 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 incur too much uh, uh, spending bed spaces are quite cheaper in dubai you can access there are very many nations from from um, from other countries for example if you're coming from africa you're coming from uganda you're coming from kenya you can easily find those people that can help you out with the bed spaces and you can live within the means at one moment of time but remember still it will it will it, it will entertain you you the person looking for the job to be a little hard working until you get that job because it's not going to find you on a silver plate at that time so that's part of what we call the visa visa in dubai all right hope i'm trying to share up something it can you can easily access it 
you can go there like any other country like any other country where you have to look for job you'll have to fight for it you are not going to sit and wait for that opportunity or for that job to look for you no you'll have to go there you'll have to 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 do whatever it takes you drop your cvs connect with friends until you get that job that is a visa visa in dubai but remember the opportunities are also there to the startup jobs to the minor startup jobs if you are willing to take the job if you are willing for example to take up the cleaning yes the jobs you will, you will get them where they are giving you 800 dirhams or 700 dirhams or even 500 dirhams if you are willing if your targets at, at your, your your long term plans and targets at that time for the first time are not too high the expectation are not too high then you can have it and you can access it and you can still have it at that time okay still let us try to look at the qatar visa visa sincerely speaking if you are planning to come to qatar it will not be a very good idea for you to come on what you call a visit visa it will be quite expensive for you it will be very expensive for you why because you will not be able to learn the job that immediately with a visa visa first of all even the requirements for you to come on a visa visa is quite very high especially if you do not have any family relative in this country that means the requirements are going to be too high for you to have this visa what is the best option for the best option in Qatar it is to have, to have what you call a work visa the work visa you are being sponsored by someone you have a sponsor you have a company sponsoring you remember if you're going to come on a, a work visa in Qatar you have some company you luckily enough you have some recruitment company that has landed you a job you know you're not going to have any extra spending of what so have you will not have that spending remember you will go to a recruitment company that is really genuine the company that is really genuine for you it will let's say for example going to charge you 4000 cut reals that is for all the work visa all the recruitment and transportation for you to come to this company yes that will be your input and your only your only role at that time it will just be to prepare yourself go for the interview you are selected you are sent a ticket and you only have to board the plane back to 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 the company that has always looked recruited you meaning that yes you are going to inject in depending on the manpower company or the recruitment agency i'm talking about the genuine recruitment agencies remember i talked about what things you should consider or what you should know before you travel what you should know about recruitment agencies so once it's a genuine recruitment agency and you recruited at that you probably know you'll have a job you are it's going to be a job that is going to be hassle free because you already know how much you're going to work for and you're already assured that the rest will be catered for other than you having what you call a visa visa and going to dubai where you'll have to settle let's say for three months or two months you've not yet found a job or uh, and and your visa visa is maybe three months for the two months you've not find a job you've not found a job that means you'll have to cater for yourself but here for the work visa you will definitely be under someone's sponsorship and everything will be assured of you will be assured you will only have need to travel and go and start up the job that is what i can say so what is my opinion my opinion is that if for example you're going to come on a visit visa in qatar it's just hell of you it's just going to be expensive it will be expensive for you it's going there are a lot of requirements they require hotel booking they require return ticket they require uh, medical insurance but it's also still something that you need to know something that, that something that you need to put in mind that there are also opportunities right now in Qatar. there are very many opportunities why because of the fifa world cup 2022 it's hosting the fifa world cup so you know that when we're talking about this country or we're talking about it it also has very many opportunities but have you got that company have you really got that company that is going to give you the visa have you got a sponsor yes 
if you well and good you get a sponsor then i think for this time it the better the better idea or the better destination will be you coming to Qatar. in case you get a very good recruitment agency that can get you that job because you'll get that money if they say they're going to give you one 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 uh, one thousand Qatar real or eight hundred thousand Qatar real that is the money you will hustle free you'll not pay up a ticket you'll 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 not pay a uh, quarantine accommodation you'll not be pay up the medical insurance all this will be catered by your employer or your sponsor and you only have to move and come in to start doing your work at one moment or that remember but still, if and if when you come to this country, inside when you come to Qatar, there are also opportunities. There are also opportunities within. After working a given period of time, if you can maneuver and change, there are opportunities that are within but not outside. So to me, right now, being that we are looking at the peak of the opportunities, the peak of the opportunities right now, I think it will be a better idea. It will just be a very good idea. If you can choose Qatar as your destination right now, Yes, tax-free money, everything. But if you want to land a very good recruitment agent that has given you an offer and your sponsor is willing to give you the offer, take it. Take it. Start with that. Other than going and spending a lot of money, yes, you look at the recruitment company, maybe may take around 4,000 Qatarial or 3,000. And the same amount of money, let's say 4,000 uh, 4, uh, 4, dirhams you're going to use to buy your... Uh, this visa ticket going to Dubai, prepare, um, uh, preparing yourself, buying a bed space, feeding, bus fare, moving from one area to another, uh, buying a mobile phone, uh, airtime, moving to one place to another. It's better. For this right now, I think the better opportunity will be if you can have the opportunity to come to, to Qatar for, for the FIFA World Cup opportunities. Then well and good, that is a better idea. Hope I've tried to share up something. I've tried to share up something, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And thank you so much for supporting this channel. Please, subscribe to this channel. Support by subscribing. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation TV. Support this channel. Let us grow. Remember, we are looking at around 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers. It is only your support where we are going to, to be able to achieve this. See you again in the next video as we try to see more of these interesting things that will help us to grow financially. Uh, this information that will help us grow financially, improving our brands and widening us our opportunities in one way or the other. Remember to follow the SOPs uh, of the COVID-19 uh, COVID pandemic. Remember to follow the SOPs uh, by putting on the mask social distancing, sanitizing your hands because it is the requirement in most of the countries and getting of overall is getting vaccinated because it is one ticket for you to travel as when you try going to planning to travel out of your or, or your home country is you have to be vaccinated uh, with the vaccines that are uh, recognized gravely. Hope I've tried to share something. See you again in the next video.